Africa rice. Underlining the urgent need for vigilance over poor quality imported rice into African countries, Africa Rice Director General Dr. Harold Roy McCauley said. First of all, it is important to note that Africa Rice has that man the mandate of research, doing research for development on rice in Africa. Um, in addition to that, we are also mandated to give advice on critical rice production marketing issues. And um, if you remember quite well, um, the prediction that Africa Rice made um, in 2008 in view of the rice prices and um, the efforts that Africa Rice made in making sure that our constituency, constituencies are responding to um, the rice in rice prices through increasing their production. And one of the most important um, activities that we developed with our partners was, and, and the CAD in particular, the Coalition for African Rice Development was in particularly to help our countries develop the national rice development strategies. This was very, very important, very important step in helping to allay the problems that um, arose in 2008. Now, um, we have seen quite recently and that there um, certain countries have been stockpiling rice and um, we have a clear indication, for example, um, that Thailand that has been stockpiling rice has decided <coughs> to sell out. And um, Thailand intends selling 11.4 million tons of rice within two months, um, um, June, April, um, May and June, May and June 2016. Even though we might think that this is a very short period of time, but we never can tell what will happen. It could happen, they could sell it. And obviously, most of the, the rice that Thailand um, intends to sell out would eventually end in Africa. And this is a fact. Um, that is just an example. But we also know that most of the rice that are sold out in mass are not of good quality. And um, it's becoming a problem. And we think that under such situations, um, we should be in a position to um, sensitize our constituencies, our countries in Africa that are producing rice, that have great ambitions of rice self-sufficiency as has been announced by most of our leaders. So um, I would like us to just take this through three um, important areas that um, we would see um, being affected with this kind of massive um, um, sellout of rice. Um, we can look at the, the, the market prices. Um, if, for example, a country wishes to sell out 11.4 million tons of rice, which is approximately the same amount of rice that Africa needs to, for self-sufficiency, it has a lot of message built into that. Um, pr right, uh, pr um, the, the price of rice actually is, is rising and um, we have from um, literature that um, for the months of February and March, it was between one and two percent. And obviously if we have 11.4 million, if it happens, 11.4 million tons of rice going to the market, that's an enormous amount of money for Thailand, for example. But the problem is, is the trade balance. What's going to happen for Africa? Africa is really going to have problems. It's going to suffer. Another point that we can look at is public health. Most of the rice that have been stockpiled um, have been done with chemicals, and they've stayed there for quite a long time. And this um, could have um, some adverse effect on consumer health. 
and we should be very, very careful about this. A third, and one maybe I would call the most important um, area that we have to look at is rise self-sufficiency ambitions of our country. Imagine if we dump 11.4 million tons of rice into our countries. Imagine that. We have an ambition of actually um, so, um, producing quality rice in quantity that would help us achieve self-sufficiency. So here, dumping 11.4 million tons of rice into our countries would actually thwart those efforts that we're making. So I think it is very important, and we have done quite a quick analysis and want to create awareness and send a strong message to our various countries that we should actually look at very strict policies that we need to put in place to actually make sure that we're, we're taking into consideration some of these um, problems that might arise from these kind of activities. The first of these policies, there are three which I would just like to throw on the table and which I would like to um, advise our countries to adopt. The first is looking at the standards for rice quality. We need to, we've spoken about public health, we need to have good standards, we need to put in place systems that would allow us to look at the quality, um, control the quality of our rice. The rice that comes in at the borders, we put in systems that allow us to control the quality. We can't maybe stop input of rice, but we need to have good quality rice coming in. And that's the first thing. We need to invest in that. The second would be the necessity to track some of these, the, the rice that are, that, that are being imported, the different, coming from different countries. We don't have um, sufficient systems in place. And this is the time. We need to track the rice. We can associate that with bulk sales and look at how we can do that. Again, I'm not saying we should stop it because we, we need to do it gradually because we don't want to, 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 to impose um, very stringent measures on our people. But we need to make sure that we're tracking the rice coming in, making sure that they're good quality rice, and we're making sure that they're, we're catering for, for bulk sale, making sure that we have the systems, the instruments in place, and the structures in place to, make, to, to, to actually um, have uh, good quality rice that we can actually give out to our people. The third, and again the most important, is investments in our own objectives of producing rice that is competitive. I think that is the most important one. So we should urge our, our governments to invest strongly in activities that will lead to the improvement of the quality of rice that we want to produce and also um, the amount of rice that we're producing. Uh, this involves a whole lot of issues, but I think um, as far as Africa rice is concerned, most of these um, are areas that we're working on, and um, as we go along, as these countries try to put in place these policies, we, are, we have all the mechanisms and the tools to help, to support them, so that um, in the end, we have, we'll reach our real ambitions of having rice sufficiency in Africa. And why not export good quality rice to these countries that are really wanting to, to dump in um, rice, um, I'm not saying, but rice of quality that might not be of, you know, of what we like in, in, in our countries. We want good quality rice and we should assume that responsibility. Thank you. For more information, visit www.africarice.org.